Hello and welcome back. My name is Martin and we're here at project number two. Let me give you some background. This is a flat which I have been asked to manage the refurbishment of. The, tenant, the, the owner bought it, I don't know, three weeks ago, something like that. And I'll give you a quick progress update so far. But before we go there, so why would you have somebody else manage a refurbishment when you could buy the flat, you could come in here or in your evenings, your weekends, paint everywhere, clean everywhere and do it yourself. But the reality is that after you've done maybe work Monday to Friday, I don't know, you come home at six o'clock, you have your dinner, you don't really feel like going out and doing three hours. <laughs> you do not feel like going out and doing three hours painting in the evening, I can assure you, or stripping wallpaper or lifting carpets, anything like that. So what happens is you end up doing two or three nights during the week and then you end up spending all of your weekend, your Saturday and Sunday, doing the same thing. Uh, and you end up being exhausted at the end of it. Uh, you take a long time to do the job. It's far better to just pay the money, get somebody in. What, this, what we've done here is we've got a decorator who has now finished. So we're going to just run you around in a little minute. He's been in for about a week. Um, it's cost about 1,500 pounds. But to me, that's money well spent because we already have a tenant lined up and the owner will have rent coming in within, within one month, within three weeks of buying the property. So another thing to consider, <clears throat> another thing to consider is council tax. When you have a property like this, which is empty, it's your second home. Even if you don't live here, it's classed as a second home. And after one month, you only get one month's grace period. So after one month, you have to pay double council tax. Now, around here, that might be £180 for a flat of this size. So your monthly cost, just to, have, just to own this, will be £360 a month. You've also got a mortgage payment on top of that. That could be a couple of hundred pounds. So you could be paying £550 a month just to own it. If that takes you three months to do, that's cost you £1,500. The same cost that the decorator has charged us. But he's done that. He's done this decorating in six days. If it was, if it was you and your partner, you might take weekends, evenings. You might take three months to do it. Now, you've paid that money already, but you haven't had any rent coming in. The owner here will have rent coming in after three weeks. So he'll be two months ahead in rental terms, in income, rental income. He'll be two months ahead by paying somebody £1,500 to paint the place. Now, to me, that makes business sense. And that's how you should do it. That's why he's got me in. I'm managing the project. He gives me a budget and I spend it as if I was spending my own money. He trusts me to make the right commercial decisions for him. Not go out and buy, for example, gold taps or something like that. Uh, he's seen a lot of my work before and how I manage projects. So he has every faith in me that I'll do the job properly. Now, I've got just a couple of things left to do. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, why don't we just have a little look around. Here we go. <clears throat> So I have measured the curtains already and they're going off to a lady who's going to alter them for us. So here we go. The carpets are back down, but they're not fixed yet because we've got a carpet fitter who will come and relay them for us because they were very loose when we came in. He's going to relay them and probably chop a couple of inches off. Now, there's quite a bit of um, creasing in there. But once they're laid properly and they're re-stretched, all that will soon disappear. Oh, we're also having them, we're also having them cleaned because there's a couple of coffee stains here and there. So here's the living room, looking very nice and bright and airy. It's a very hot day today. We've got one set of curtains up already because these ones are the right length. And then into the kitchen, this is another job we need to do which is get the lady cleaner in. She's going to give this place a good scrubbing. Here we are. We also still have to have the boiler um, gas checked for its safety certificate. 
So we are. The giant fridge. Off to the bathroom. Everything looks so much nicer, cleaner, brighter. Off to the bathroom. Looks a lot nicer. Being painted Magnolia looks a lot better. Here we are. The bathroom, of course, is filthy. I don't know if you can see that, but the bathroom is filthy. Okay, so there we go. So that's it. Quick look around for a progress update and jobs we still need to do. Carpet fitter, carpet cleaner, have the curtains altered and I'm going to come back and refit them. Cleaner, that's about it. So within a week, we already have the tenant. We use an agency. Again, use an agency because they are worth their money. They do all the due diligence, all the background checks, all the financial checks that your tenant can afford the rent, is genuine, hasn't had problems with their landlords before, things like that. So it's money well spent. Yes, you can find somebody on Facebook, but you're taking a risk with your investment. So within a week, I reckon within a week, we will have a tenant here and that'll be another project ticked off. Now don't worry, because I have plenty more projects in the pipeline, so you'll be seeing a lot more of us. All right, so thanks for watching, take care.